Uh, just make sure that I'm all uh, nice and uh, safe, basically, not only for myself, but also for uh, YouTube and any children under 13, basically. <coughs> oh, joy or rapture. But yeah, uh, as you know, down below on the light side with all this, it's, uh, yeah, I'm still like taking a bit more of a patience behind it all and just let the dust settle basically behind it all until I get a bit more of an understanding with it. And even though I'll probably find it won't affect me terribly much. Well, if if or at all, it uh, yeah, so they can understand that little bit of fear factor behind it all with the uh, uh, changes made by YouTube to comply with uh, yeah, COPA. But uh, just to do that little bit of fill in for people who still like not knowing what was going on, it's uh. So like a thing happened where had some US based child advocacy groups filed complaints with the uh, Fair Trade Commission in the US about violating some some of the uh, what do you call it the Child or well, Children's Online Privacy Protection Act and uh, yeah and they're having some holy but repercussions from it all and. Now YouTube has to be all compliant, and as well as YouTube, it's pretty much all the uh, content creators that pretty much have to be as well. So yeah, it's just that little thing there of, yeah. You know, well, for me, uh, I don't make a, my content for kids, but also you know, wanting kids to watch it because I'm more trying to be open to everyone, not. Not only just for adults, basically. Now, yeah, of course, you know, I'll probably have some sort of fear factor behind it all myself. But it's still like what, uh, you know, not so much the US Fair Trade Commission, but what YouTube's response will be to, you know, future videos that I might have my niece and nephew in. You know, you know if I'm going to get some sort of stuff across the wrist for those videos in the future or not, across, you know, so that was one of those things of having to watch that space basically and also comes to mind too was just recently is so like what's that sort of thing of uh you know uh, like having a fan meet you on the street and when you're filming and want to take a selfie with you and of course you know be all part of the video or you know you film a meet and greet or something like that even though, you know, I don't know if that's going to happen in my life with you know, being on YouTube. But, uh, you know, the thought is there. Uh, you know, as much as, you know, probably have some fear factor with uh, some of the channels out there, especially the ones that deal with, you know, chill children's content and, uh, you know, probably also gaming and cartoons. I think it's also the, a little bit on the worried side. You know, it's, it's you know, so, yeah, understandable and probably so that it probably shows some concern because yeah, they might end up losing their con yeah, income from it all. But I know at the end of the day, you know, it probably, you know, years in the making basically, but these days you pretty much just can't really rely terribly a lot on YouTube for your income. You know, you see like the, uh, some people are still like, have a so like totally separate business income and and so like have YouTube as a supplement to their income, not not as their you know main income. So it's you know, something I'm, I might have to look into myself down the track. But uh, yeah, well, with the journey I'm on with this uh, channel and everything else like that, you know, still a bit of a long road to take with everything and. I suppose it's one of those little hurdles I have to get myself over. 
This is, uh, you know, this hasn't been an easy road for me. This is so I really, since I uh, got started with all this, you know, I've lost monetization twice and got it back once and yeah, <laughs> get the picture and I suppose it's uh, waiting for the next big hurdle I've got to get across with, you know, any further changes that might happen, so yeah, take it as it comes. So, see you down below. Until next time, have a good one.